This is a Freilander Cascadia from the year 2013. And today I have this. Today I have this Freilander Cascadia from the year 2013. The problem that it's having is multiple SCR cuts. What is going on is that the SCR is uh, not working well and the computer is going on the uh, D-ray mode with the uh, DEF blinking light and the red and the check engine light on. And it, it, it sets codes like uh, the uh, DOC temperature inlet uh, inlet temperature uh, circuit low or circuit high, uh, the SCR temperature out, uh, out, outlet temperature uh, circuit low or circuit, or circuit high and stuff like that. That those cuts are related to this. This is the engine. I mean uh, the SCR harness. Uh, this is the SCR harness, and uh, what it does is uh, it takes the signal from the sensors and it, it brings it all, all the way over here to that plug over there, and that plug is the one that goes directly to the ACM. The computer for the SCR. So this uh, uh, harness is uh, made of a very cheap material, just the same way is made the uh, engine sensor, engine uh, harness sensor. Uh, the problem is that this is like a high temperature all the time over here, and this thing overheats and it damages itself over the time. In this case. We have problems with this one, and that's the reason why I'm replacing it. There are multiple codes that are related to this specific harness, and uh, that's uh, right now I'm not showing you any codes, but there are many like the 3361 um, and uh, and so on codes like that. Then are telling uh, then there is a high uh, a high or a low circuit in the SCR box area. The solution to this problem is to replace the SCR harness. In this case, I have it right here. This is the part number. But this part number is only for 2013 models because the SCR harness varies depending on the year. For 2012, it's different. For 2013, it's different. For 2013, it's different as well. And for the 13s, 15s, and 16s can vary. And also, the SCR box location can vary too and that varies on the SCR harness too so it, it, there are multiple types of SCR harness so don't get confused and this one will be the same for the one you own or if you have a day cap everything is different for uh, SCRs depending on the year and depending on the models and uh, the location of the SCR so um, if we see this one over here there is nothing uh, special about the harness. This is the new one. That is the old one, and everything is uh, in the same way. That's the same. That, that's what you have to look when you're replacing this harness. Then everything looks the same. The plugs on the back and the sensors over here. So uh, that is the problem on this SCR sensors uh, harness. Then this one goes bad and uh, eventually starts shooting cuts and everything and you have the DF light on and stuff like that. And you may think the SCR box is bad, but it's not. Uh, there are many other situations that happen because of the SCR box. No, uh, when the, you have the DF light blinking doesn't mean that the SCR box is failing. The majority of cases it could be a low emission or sensor failure. Uh, the EPA um, uh, does that. So that way the truck gets fixed. Uh, in this case, there is no SCR bypass. There is not a uh, other solution by jo but just replacing the sensor, har the hardness sensor. Uh, this costs around 500 bucks. This um, this is uh, hardness. And uh, the, to install this hardness is pretty simple. I mean, there is nothing complicated. There is like just to remove clips and everything. The problem is to access the rear area over there, the rear area where the sensor, the little rail then goes there. That area is kind of hard to access because it is kind of limited space. That's the only part that is hard. But other than that, replacing this hardness is not so hard. It's very easy, very uh, accessible. That's why I'm not showing you how to replace it, but maybe later in the future I'm going to show you how to replace it because it's similar for 2013s and up, 
but the, the sensor harness, the harness sensor, uh, is going to vary on part numbers and types. So this is what I'm going to show you so far. Um, if you have problems on your SER box and you having circuits uh, fail high, circuit fail low, cuts like that in any matter, like a, we can have a knock sensor circuit fail low, uh, inlet DOC temperature circuit fail low, like the uh, inlet DOC pressure circuit fail low, so stuff like that. You have to look at this harness freeze instead of replacing anything else because this one is pretty easy to replace. The other harness over there, this one, the one, this one goes to the ACM in the other side. That is super hard to replace it, but in the majority of cases, that harness never fails. The one that fails most is this one. That one fails if something is chaffing to it, something like crushes or something, that's when it fails. But other than that, it doesn't fail. This one is like very supposed to fail, so that's right, you have to go to this one instead of going to that one. The majority of people go to that one because they think that's the problem, but no, that's not the problem. In my only case, this is the problem. So this is all I'm going to show you so far. If you have any questions, you can use the comment section below. To leave any kind of questions, anything uh, to add to the video, or you have any doubts, anything else, just use the comment section below. If you want to send support to my channel, you can always use the description section below, where I have details how to send support to my channel, so I can continue making helpful videos for everybody. So, like, share, subscribe, and thank you for watching.